Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a print and cut purse with cardstock and I'm going to do it from start to finish. The first thing that we want to do is make sure that Cricut Design Space is closed and then you're going to go to the video and click on the link and click um, show more and you're going to scroll down to things that I've mentioned are used in the video and this is the link that will take you directly to um, the Galantine purse. Um, so we'll click on this And then we're going to click I agree and then open in app. And then we're going to click on edit a copy. Okay. And if you have any trouble with the link as far as when you click on it, it not opening in Cricut Design Space, um, I've noticed that when I do it through Google, um, Google Chrome it doesn't always work so um, when I click on the link I do it through like Microsoft Edge and it, it does work so it just depends on your internet browser so just kind of FYI if it's not working with one try it on a different and that may um, resolve the issue so let's get started um, right now you can see a hundred percent it's at a hundred percent I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller so you can see more of what is here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete some of the images that I'm not going to be using. Okay, and then I can go ahead and put it back up. We'll do it at 75. Okay, so this is the um, typical size of the purse. And I'm going to go ahead and hit um, select all and the padlock is still on. I'm going to go ahead and just make this a little bit smaller and leaving the padlock on um, makes sure that when you are making it smaller that it's going to be proportioned. Okay, so now I'm going to deselect. And what we're going to do is go ahead and um, separate these two. And I'm not going to be using these, so I'm going to uh, select both and hit delete. And I'm going to hit detach. And I am going to delete both of the score lines on both of these. And actually, we are going to delete that one as well. Okay. Then we can, we're going to go down here and bring this over and just hit delete and I'll show you why. And since we're down here anyway, let's hit on group and then I want to get rid of um, the Galantine. So I'm going to hit delete. Okay. And we need to move this and hit delete. Okay. So um, the first thing I did before we get started is I um, downloaded some really cute images. They're um, either JPEG or PNG files. And I, I got them from clipartmax.com. So if you like what I'm doing, that's where I got it. And I just want to show you um, once you download the images that you want to use, you would click on upload. And then typically you would hit upload image is how we typically would um, do that but this is different since we're going to do a print and cut we're going to click on pattern fill then we're going to click um, upload pattern browse and then i'm going to go to where i saved my image and i'm going to double click on that and i'm going to upload that and click upload and then you'll notice at the top of the page, it says pattern upload successful. So we're good. We're going to go back. We're going to go back to the, um, to the project. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, move this over here. Let's just kind of get this stuff out of the way. Okay. We're going to first select on operation and change it to a print and a cut. Next, we're going to click on the color. And right now the print type is color and that's where you have the different colors. We're going to click on pattern. 
and then I'm going to scroll down and this is the one that I uploaded to the pattern fill and I'm going to go ahead and select that and you can click on edit pattern so if you don't like the size of the pattern you can move it you can just adjust it any way you want so I'm going to go ahead and put it back to where it was so there's also other um, patterns that are in there that are free that are already there that you can use if you want to look through those okay so next I'm going to hit duplicate because this is the other side of the purse so now we have two of them and I'm going to go to here this is going to be the strap and I'm going to change the color if you look here on the right hand side <clears throat> excuse me you'll notice that this area is much darker gray than the light gray that means that this is the item that we have selected so I'm going to click on here and I'm going to change the color to a green and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one okay and then we're going to go back to, we're going to go to here I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just so we can see um, more of the screen at one time so I'm going to detach and slide this over and I need to change the operation to print then cut and then I'm going to go to the type change it to pattern and I'm going to use the same pattern and now I'm going to slide the scoring back over and I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to select a line and then um, center just to make sure that the score lines are back where they should be and then hit attach and then we can click on duplicate to make one more and then I can delete this one and I'm going to change this this right here is the liner for inside the purse I'm going to change that to green and then I want to change this to the same pattern so I need to first detach to take the score lines off click on the image change it to a print then cut then I need to go to pattern select the pattern drag this over here select both go to a line and just make sure that it's centered and then we're going to click on attach okay then this is the pocket for inside the purse so I'm going to click here and I'm going to change that to the green okay then I'm going to do um, this part right here I'm going to ungroup it and this I'm going to do um, green as well and I have a total of four of these so I'm going to hit duplicate three times and I should have one a little bit further down yeah let's drag that up okay next I'm going to change this to the pattern so we have to change this to print then cut and let's go to pattern and click on this and now I'm going to duplicate three more times so I have four of them and I can go back to these and delete these okay and I am going to usually I use foil board um, for the brackets and the zipper for the zipper I'm going to keep it at the foil and let's hit ungroup again so I'm going to keep those um, but this I think I'm going to do it a little bit different I'm going to do green buckles so I'm going to select green and then I'm going to click um, seven times because we have eight of those okay and then we can go ahead and delete these let me make this a little bit smaller so I can see the other ones to add um, an image so I'm going to hit upload and I'm going to go ahead and add the image and I'm going to just kind of make it a little bit bigger I want to place it um, like right 
here. And now I need to select both of those and hit um, attach and flatten. I wanted to add a name. So what I'm going to do is let me slide this one down and I'm going to insert text. And there was a special font that I wanted to use, which is, it's called curls. So let me um, go to, it's going to be this one. And I'm going to change the font, I mean the color to black. And I thought that would be super cute. So let's go ahead, let me just make sure. So I'm going to go ahead, select this, attach, and flatten. Okay, we're good to go, you guys. So let's go ahead, hit save, and let's hit make it. I also wanted to mention um, if you are going to print to the, you know, your color machine, if you want to have like the best quality, you would go into your computer and just type in um, printer. And when your printer pops up, you would right click and you would go to printing preferences. And I'm sorry, I'm going to click on paper quality. And then right here, I set better. I'm going to put mine on best. And then I'm going to select apply. And then I'm going to go ahead and just continue and hit print. And just wanted to share that with you just in case you wanted to have a better quality and you didn't know how. So let's continue. Okay, so I just finished printing all four of um, the printing cuts that I had. And then I'm going to now do the cutting. I just wanted to print them all together first. So I'm going to walk you through how you would do that. You would want to hit cancel and you want to go back to the beginning. And then we're going to click make it. And I'm going to select the mat, continue. And I'm going to go back to the first one that I printed. And I'm going to hit continue. And then I'm going to click over here on the right that says I already printed. And then I'm going to select medium cardstock and I'm gonna go ahead and load the mat. And this one also is going to score. So we'll have to use the scoring tool. Okay, so this is what came off the printer. I'm gonna apply it to the mat and you'll just wanna make sure that you place it in the spot that it says so on Cricut Design Space, which is usually the corner over here and then just taping it. I'm gonna apply it to the Cricut Maker. And I'm going to use a score tool, which is O01. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I don't think you can, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and place that in here. And I'm going to hit the flashing arrows And then you would hit the Cricut button or the play button, just depending on which, you know, what you have. Okay, now Cricut Design Space tells you to now put in the fine point blade. Oops. Ah, my finger. <laughs> and then you hit the play button. And I just finished with that. And now I'm gonna go to the next one. And I'm going to click I've already printed and medium cardstock. And then I'm going to continue and um, we'll be right back. We are going to go ahead and um, cut the zipper on the um, foil board. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on browse, select poster board, foil poster board, done. And then I'm gonna load the Cricut mat and we're gonna go ahead and cut that. Okay guys, so let's get started. This is, um, these two pieces are the side of the purse, one, one side of the purse. And this is the liner, this is the bottom of the purse, and this is the pocket. And then these are the two sides of the purse. Aren't those so cute? Okay, and the other stuff is kind of self-explanatory. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is fold this bottom of the purse on the scored lines. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of fold that. Let me move this over here. 
and let's score. Okay, so this is now folded on the score lines. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to use um, the glue stick and I'm going to take one side of the purse and I'm gonna face it down and I want the bottom of the purse to touch this. So we're going to go ahead and glue this part and then we're going to um, put the um, flap down to connect it. Put some glue on. And we're gonna place this as close as we can. We're gonna line it up and then we're gonna press this down. So, And I like to take a popsicle stick to just kind of help make it uh, stick. Let's kind of wipe some of this glue off. Now let's turn it this way and we're going to do the exact same thing. So remember that the bottom of the purse goes down this way and we're gonna glue this part. Okay, we're gonna line it up and place it down. and then just rub it over with the popsicle stick. Okay, so this is what we have so far. See? So let's do the pocket first. We are going to fold it on the score lines. Let's go ahead and fold that and this and this. Okay, so we're gonna apply the glue and then this goes inside the purse. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and take this and put it on the purse on the inside and do the popsicle stick. Is the liner for inside the purse. And for um, some reason it's a little bit too big, so I'm gonna cut like about half an inch or less, less like a quarter of an inch off the end. I'm going to apply some glue And we're going to place this right in the middle of the purse. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is grab the two ends of the purse and there are score marks on the side. So we're gonna go ahead and fold that first. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so you'll see, um, let's see if I can get the right angle. You, you will see a line right here and then it goes out this way. So it looks like an upside down Y. Can you see that? Let's see if I turn it like this way maybe. You kind of can get a glimpse of it. So this is a Y. And what you do is you put the popsicle stick on the bottom part of the Y before it, you know, reaches out. And you are going to fold it and just kind of um, do the crease right there on the line. Now we're going to do the, net, the exact same thing on this side of the Y. And then the same over here on this side of the Y. So then it'll end up looking like this. Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same thing. If you can see the Y, and I apologize if you can't see the Y, you can kind of maybe get a little bit that way. So this is um, the bottom of the Y. We're gonna go ahead and reinforce that. And we're gonna do the Y over here. And I am multitasking and making dinner at the same time, so I apologize. Okay, so there you go. This is done. So what we're gonna do is now we're going to attach it to the other end of the purse. It's going to be the same thing. We're gonna take this, and um, this is the bottom of the Y, and place it this way. And then we're going to glue here and fold it over. So let's go ahead and apply some glue. 
make sure it lines up and the popsicle stick. Okay, so now we're going to flip it this way and do the exact same thing on the other side. So this part is down like this. Remember the bottom of the Y, like the opening of the Y goes against that. Okay, and we're gonna line it up and apply it. So let's go ahead. And this glue that I'm using, this Elmer's like um, glue stick, it goes on purple, but it dries clear. So if you get any on there, it's not a big deal. It um, goes away. Okay, so this is what we have so far. See, not that cute? Okay, so what we're gonna do now is put the purse together. We are going to glue, put glue here. And as we pull this up, this is going to attach right there. So let's go ahead and apply the glue. And then this, we're gonna bring this up and we're gonna apply it here. And we wanna make sure that you line it up really well. And I'm going to flip it this way and reinforce with the popsicle stick. Okay, let's actually, I need to move that over just a tad. Let's move it in just a little bit. Okay. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing <clears throat> on the other side, right here. So we're going to apply the glue and then apply this here so it lines up. And then we're gonna flip it over and just reinforce it this way. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, so we're going to apply the glue. Line it up. Flip it over. And make sure it's lined up and then do the popsicle stick. Now we have a one more side and the white that glue off a little bit. Okay. Now we have this side and the last side, I kind of pull it out this way. It's just kind of easier to get at. And I'm just gonna apply the glue. Try to get it not on my finger, but I am. And do the exact same thing, line it up. Wipe a little of this off. Flip it over to reinforce it. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so this is what we have so far. Let me just push this one in a little bit. All right, isn't that so cute? So we have that done. We have um, the straps for the purse, which we're gonna set aside. We should have four of these. And we should have one of these. And we should have four of these and we have the zipper and then we have eight whoops that's the wrong one we have eight of these um buckles so we're going to do the buckles next let's grab all those and then i have the pull for the zipper okay let's pick this up it's so tiny okay and i feel like i'm missing a piece the little there it is this part okay so the first thing we're going to do or the next thing we're going to do is these two um, we glue and we put it together. So no matter which side this turns, you see um, the gold. And it also makes it a little bit uh, sturdier because this is a foil card stock or a foil card poster. And there's two of them. So um, we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit of glue and then we're gonna stick it together. Wipe a little bit of that glue off, okay. Okay, and 
we're going to glue these together. Okay, just like that. And let me do another one. Okay. Gonna glue this together. Just like this. Okay. And I made a, a little extra because when I cut this on the Cricut, for some reason, when I cut like eight, maybe like one or two of them doesn't cut correctly. So I've kind of learned to uh, print, to cut a little extra. So I don't know if that happens to you guys, but I usually add one or two extra. Okay. And we have one more. Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to do is take this, which is the zipper, and put it on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna maybe try to use, I don't know if it'll be strong enough for the foil board, but let's try. Let's see. We're going to place it right in the center. Hmm, okay, that kind of worked nice, nicely. Okay, so we have that and we have the pole that goes with it. So this tiny piece right here goes at the end and this is just like that part of a zipper that um, you know when you open the zipper and it stops like the stopper the stopper well let's call it that and let's put this on here and okay and then this bigger piece I put in here and then I fold this so I'm gonna fold this and put a little glue in here. And let's see if we can push this down, the popsicle stick for a second. Okay, and then I'm going to take this zipper and put it right there. So let's put some glue right here. And we're gonna place this on here and just push it down with a popsicle stick for a second. That may not be strong enough because this is a little bit heavier, but we'll see, maybe it will be. Let's just keep adding a little bit of pressure and let it dry a little bit. Next thing we're going to do, this one's an extra, is we are going to take these four pieces And we're gonna take the buckles. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold this in half, just like that, so they match. And let's do it this way, let's do it a little bit different. We'll add some glue, just like that. And then you're gonna put a buckle inside here, right in the middle, and then you're going to close it so it matches up. So it'll look just like that. And we're gonna do that to all of them. Just fold it. And do a little glue. And then fold this. Whoops. And 
And our last one, let me just make sure that one's, let me slide it over a little bit. Okay, we're going to fold this. So then you are going to take this and put glue on the back. And then you're going to place it on here and you're going to line it up so that you can see the green um, evenly from the top side and the bottom. The same thing with this one. Line it up. Just like that. And this. Wipe some of the glue off, okay? Okay, I, so I, anyway, I thought it was recording. I hit record and some reason it stopped. So I just wanted to touch base and let you know all I did was glue, put glue and I placed this here. And um, we're now turning it over to do the other side. For some reason, my phone, I'm taping on my phone and my phone rang and it stopped recording, so. I thought it was still recording. So anyway, we're gonna line it up across uh, to have it try to be the same, in the same place. And we have one left. I want it kind of measured across, make sure it's lined up. Okay. And then we have to do the straps. The way I do the straps is we have both ends folded. We're gonna take the strap and just kind of push it, bend the paper in half. And you want both of these ends to be facing that way because these are gonna go in here and we're gonna close it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some glue And I'm going to place this right in here and then I'm going to close it and I think it works best to do the popsicle stick. Okay. And then we're going to turn this just like this because it's going to go right in here. So, but I'm gonna do a little bit of glue first. It, it helps too when you do both at the same time because when you go to do the other one, it kind of falls off. Okay, so let's hold this one and we're gonna do this, push this one in here and then I'm gonna just hold this. Okay, so this side is done. We're gonna turn it around and do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to fold the sides. I'm going to apply, whoops, I'm going to apply the glue on both sides first. It's just easier that way. And then we're going to go in, turn it like this. So it's like this. Put this in here, this in here. And hold it for a second. Put a little pressure in here. So what do you guys think? This is super cute and you can personalize it and it's uh, the print and cut purse and it has a little pocket and the liner in there and you can put like a little gift card and this is just so cute I think. And it says one in a melon, isn't that cute? It's just perfect for summer. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. And if so, make sure to hit the like button. And if you are new to my channel and you think this channel is for you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Bye.